It's what everyone in Mexico wants for Christmas, the COVID vaccine. And the one from Pfizer has now finally arrived. As the phrase goes, good things arrive in small quantities. We have the privilege today of being one of the first countries in the world with a vaccine supply to be handed out next year. And Mexico is the first country in Latin America to get the vaccine. But for many people it won't be available till the middle of next year. And meanwhile the country's in big trouble. Mexico City's hospitals are all but full, with very few ventilators left. There are queues outside shops selling oxygen tanks. Monica Avila's travelled from another city, desperate to get one. Like many people, she's taken care of an infected relative at home. We've come from Toluca. There's no oxygen there. We went to two places, but they didn't have any till tomorrow. And I need it for today because my patient, my dad, can't go without oxygen. Mexico never really got COVID cases down after the first wave, and now there's more than ever. The crowds in Mexico City center throughout December haven't helped. The government's just reluctantly declared a red alert for the capital and its suburbs, closing non-essential businesses. But a lot of people think that authorities declared the alert for the capital much too late. There's been questions over their attitude towards a pandemic from the beginning. The Mexican president and the COVID Tsar rarely wear masks, and they've been accused repeatedly of not imposing timely and strict enough lockdowns. But the government has a powerful counter-argument. Mexico has more than 60 million poor people. Stopping them from working could leave them destitute, especially since federal authorities haven't rolled out a comprehensive financial plan to help them. Maria Garcia is selling face masks in the street. She says there's no way she could stay home. Of course not. I'd be ashamed to hold out my hand and say, help me. That's why I'm here. I get $7 a day, even if it's just to buy tortillas. Instead, the government's opted to try and make sure that when people do get sick, there's always a bed for them. Now, for the first time, it looks like that strategy could fail. Although there were no queues waiting outside of the six hospitals that our team visited in Mexico City this week, all of which were full, health experts say that could change this January. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.